from one national champion to another national champion to another national champion. He did it two years ago, the two-time All-American from Apple Valley, Minnesota, Mark Hall. Perfect six and oh. Well-documented career. Coming out of high school, six-time Minnesota State champion, individually and on the team as well, 12 titles. There's a cooler customer, I don't know, Shane. I don't know one in NCAA wrestling today. So poised, he never panics. I, I believe, and I, it's not an arrogance, this is a confidence that I can beat you in any position. Now, of course, he got beat last year, and he's not afraid to get beat either. He's just gonna get better. Mark Hall for Penn State is a cool customer. Rank number two in the country, a tough customer in Jordan Cutler, the redshirt junior out of Sparta, New Jersey, wrestled at Blair Academy, did Cutler, two-time national prep champion, and he brings with him the number seven ranking in the country. And when we looked at this duel, TJ, the matchup at heavyweight, and here at 174, two that stood out. Yeah, uh, and, and you look at Jordan Cutler, and he's just, uh, he's basic, he's good at every position, he's strong. He's got a great desire to win. He's just got to get past the hammers. He's got to get the wins over the best because he's right there. Make him react, Jordan. Cutler was down at 157 a couple years back. Was 13 and one. He won the Southern Scuffle. Spent the second half of that season ranked in the top five, but had some weight issues and didn't wrestle in postseason. And then he bumped up, was sixth last year, 28 and five campaign, EIWA champion. It's one of those times where bumping up has helped him. As a wrestler, what Cutler does is he makes good decisions. And you know, that's a, that's a Lehigh trait. Uh, like all Lehigh wrestlers, they usually, they're out there, they're basic, they, they make good decisions on the mat, they work hard and Cutler, Leader on the team. Coach Sands. Now, I got a little glimpse of uh, Darian Cruz it. in the background back there, and he's at Lehigh working towards the Olympics. And of course, Lehigh just had a national champion in Cruz just two years ago. Had that big win against Thomas Gilman in the semis, I recall. And then he beat Ethan Lezak of Minnesota. 60 seconds in the first period. Coach Santoro said. Fingers. The key for Cutler here is he's got to get a takedown, of course. Recognizes the phenomenal scrambling of Mark Hall. If you get to his legs, you better finish immediately. Right, right. That's what he was talking about, too. Just the, not the fact that he doesn't think he can get to the legs, but once he gets there, he is, cannot hesitate. He needs to finish quick. Coach Santoro said that Jordan, one of the best positional wrestlers he's ever coached, maintains great position and stronger than he looks. Short time. Both guys feeling each other out a little bit in this first three minutes. Stalemate whistle. Real quick. Set. Cutler coming off a 5 nothing victory over Travis Stefanik. This past Friday night, three, two, one, and the first period in the books. And there you see the three-time national champion, four-time All-American, Zane Rutherford, the Zane Train. It's gonna be your choice when you're done. 2017 world team member, rushed for that championship team the United States had in Paris. Since winning that third national title this past March in Cleveland, he's stepped back. Did not wrestle freestyle this summer. Just wrestled Jordan Oliver this past Friday night. Oliver with the victory, 24 points combined. It was showtime. A lot of fun to watch those two guys go at it. And again, speaking about depth, Penn State's got the depth. And how about Team USA right now? I mean, they got coming off of a world championship performance that had three gold medalists. They were runner-up to Russia. 
but great depth. Well, and that has a lot to do with the, the focus and intensity of USA Wrestling and their emphasis. Bill Zadig, the former world champion, doing a great job as the head coach there. And so Rich Bender got the right guy. Yes, he did. Freestyle in Don't there, and they're you know, and they're making right. it happen. The the benefits, um, the rewards that uh, uh, donors and supporters are making possible, so that wrestlers can stay in the in the game a little bit longer. Critical in this match is Cutler being able to oh, ride yes, Markal, riding Markal like riding a bull, but you gotta now commit to it. This is where you gotta just get tough mentality. He's done a nice job here, able to ride him for 25 seconds. A little bit surprised he didn't give a little bit more of an effort there, but nonetheless, 25 seconds is better than five seconds. Oh, great deep shot there from Hall. Chest lock from the Mountain Hawk. First opportunity on his feet for Mark Hall. And he wins that scramble, and just like that, 3-0. Just stayed tight with the hips, and then on the roll, covered the hips and got the two points Hall did there. Set that up with a nice little shot. Lowered his level with that high crotch, drove through. Stay up, stay up. Mark Hall, age level world champion, a cadet and junior world champion for the United States. We talked about it earlier. Next up for him is Zahid Valencia. You know what people just don't think about because he shows us, but what he's doing right now, Mark Hall, he's been doing since seventh grade. I mean, I was talking to some people who were watching him in seventh grade, ride the heck out of the seniors that he was wrestling to win state titles. And we saw him last year, right at, you know, at Ohio State, dual meet. He is tough on top, and he has been for a long time. This is not something new uh, for Mark Hall. And if you can ride like this, be good at all three positions, you're gonna win most of the time. Riding time over 40 seconds. Stalemate, gentlemen. Gentlemen, we need to start working. Stalemates. Here's a critical five seconds right here. Can Cutler find a way to get an escape? Give himself something to build on. Heading into the third period, of course, big difference between 3-0 and 3-1. And Hall, like a leech, finishes period on top. Back to you, Red. Down. Yep, little elbow. Yeah, you just controlled that left elbow, got in on the high crotch there, and now ultimately finishes off, cutting across with the double right here for the two. All that came from that elbow control from Mark Cole's takedown. Got the boot in, trying to extend him, get him flat. Both in now, stretching, stretching Cutler out. You know, situation here, TJ. Mark Hall man, you're parallel. Man, wants you're to parallel. remove all go. hope, right? Work. And, you, and you just heard J.R. Johnson Brand, you say, you're parallel, you gotta get to the side, you gotta show me you're trying to. We've got to work, both top and bottom, understand To, to, go, to go for the fall, there's a good look at Mark Hall, and he's been Told by the official, you can't just put both boots in and uh, not make something happen. Riding time over a minute and a half as Cutler on the board with an escape 3-1. So the difference this, so far just where Hall beat him to the punch for that takedown early. And that's what Hall does. He usually beats his opponent to the punch in all three uh, positions. Two years ago when he won that NCAA crown, he beat... Bo Jordan of Ohio State. Let's go, let's go. Don't wait. Ohio State coming off that team title at the Cliff Keen in Vegas, kind of a mini Big Ten tournament there in Vegas. Big Ten winning all 10 weight classes, incredible. 35 seconds. And building on his lead, looking to put a cherry on top of it, Mark Hall. Riding time is secured. So essentially four to one. Cutler trying to keep that head from popping out there and getting covered, but he doesn't. Nice job. 
Love 1000, two. And gets the one escape. Shut up, Casey Christ. So with the riding time, a decision from our call, 6-2 for the number two ranks. 174 pounder in the country.